Welcome to this blog based on the book A Way Other Than Our Own by Walter Bergman and entitled The Dangerous State of Blessedness. My first reaction to the title was that the association of the positive word blessedness with the negativity of danger made me sit up, take notice and look for an explanation. So I hope it may jar with you too. In the Beatitudes Christ associates blessedness with being poor, hungry, weeping, hated and defamed. This appears to be contra to the world's view that strives to attain its worldly blessing from the complete opposites, richness, being well fed, happiness, love and honour. Further, Christ applies the words woe, meaning big trouble, death, sadness, failure, defeat, to those who feel that by reaching richness, happiness, being loved and being honoured, they have reached the perfect life and perhaps particularly even to those that have not bothered to look back to check whether all others have reached it with them. If one watches David Attenborough's series such as Dynasty 2, one finds that animal and plant creation seems to be based on competition, either individual against individual or community against community. Competition based on let the best person win or the survival of the fittest highlights the selfish nature of evolution, a nature based on physical, mental or environmental, a, a, environmental advantage. Of course there are the slightly less selfish community groups that practice working together for the internal common good, but most still seek superiority over other groups in order to retain control of vital territories and valuable resources. As science suggests that humans have evolved from animal ancestry, Perhaps it's no wonder that human world tends to reflect its animal roots, roots based on self-survival, rather than focusing on higher things such as love and equality of all. Such a higher focus undermines the hierarchies of control that maintain the status quo and impede positive change, undermines the fostering of class distinction, it undermines the justification of war to resolve dis uh, disagreements. It undermines the practice of rejection of those that are different. Instead, the negative is o over time replaced <coughs> with love, tolerance and equality. The problem with being blessed in worldly terms is that it makes it easy to justify one's own status quo. It makes it easy to ignore the possibility of future significant negative change. And it makes it easy to lose the need of God's grace. For instance, in the Second World War, it's resulted in many returning to God when the world around them that they had thought was built on secure rock turned out to be built on shifting sand. And if we continue to consider Christ's words to Pilate, my kingdom is not of the world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. We note from this that conflict has no part in God's kingdom. So I ask is Christ, by emphasising that blessedness is associated with the difficulties of life, hinting that those that pass through difficulty have a far greater chance of rejecting the worldly view of the purpose of life, discovering God's kingdom, discovering God's grace, and can then they look to God's kingdom to find ways of redressing the inequalities of the past. So to end up, I share Bergman's prayer. O Lord of discontent, you are not satisfied with the present state of the world and you expect us not to be satisfied with it either. Teach us to identify with the suffering of Jesus in this world and so to live into the blessing you desire for us and for all. Amen. Thank you for listening and may you be truly blessed in all you do in the Lord's name. Amen.